asteroid big enough to destroy a city could hit Earth within the next few months. The European Space Agency gives a shock warning. This is today's article by Sean Martin on Express UK. An asteroid is approaching Earth and the European Space Agency has warned it has a chance of smashing into Earth. That's bad news, of course. We've had a couple of flybys of asteroids recently, the next past few days, past few weeks, and this is coming up in a couple of months. A 40 meter wide, that's 120 foot wide asteroid is due to pass September 9th, and experts are warning of a chance of a collision. The asteroid is called 2006 QV89, and at 40 meters, it is big enough to destroy a city. The European Space Agency ESA states that there is a 7,000 to 1 chance the space rock will come crashing to Earth with an Earth impact, and while the chances may be slim, the ESA says it presents a non-zero impact probability. That means scientists are not 100% sure of its trajectory, and there is a chance of a collision. The ESA states on the website, quote, in most cases, the size presented in the table is estimated indirectly from the absolute magnitude and flagged with an asterisk to, to denote its large uncertainty. When a better measurement is available in the literature, it replaces the estimated value. At 40 meters wide, that's about 120 feet wide, the asteroid not be big enough to wipe out civilization, but it would be more powerful than the Chelyabinsk incident, according to the European Space Agency. In 2013, a 20-meter uh, meteor exploded over Chelyabinsk, Russia, which smashed windows, caused injuries to more than 1,000 people, and, and uh, damages to over 7,000 buildings. Experts had not anticipated this incident, leading to fears that Earth could be surprised by a more devastating asteroid strike in the future. They never saw Chelyabinsk coming in, and there were a couple of other asteroids they never saw coming in either. The recent one that hit just south of the Aleutian Islands in Alaska. Thank goodness it struck in the sea, in the Pacific Ocean. Now, experts have not anticipated the incident, leading to fears that Earth could be surprised by a more devastating asteroid in the future. John T. Horner, professor of astrophysics at the University of Southern Queensland, said there is still a huge risk civilization could be destroyed by asteroids. In an article for The Conversation, Professor Horner wrote, The solar system is littered with material left over from the formation of the planets. Most of it is locked up in stable reservoirs, the asteroid belt, the Edgeworth Kuiper belt, and the Oort cloud far from the Earth. Those reservoirs continually leak objects, though, into the interplanetary space, in injecting fresh debris into orbits that cross those of the planets. The inner solar system is awash with debris, ranging from tiny flecks of dust to comets and asteroids many kilometers in diameter. The vast majority of the debris that collides with Earth is, utter is utterly harmless, but our planet still bears scars of collisions with much larger bodies. We're still trying to work out how often events like this happen. Our information on the frequency of the larger impacts is pretty limited, so estimates can vary dramatically. Typically, people argue that the Tunguska-sized impacts, the Tunguska uh, impact which took place in Siberia at the turn of the century, 1900s, the impacts happen every few hundred years, but that's just based on a sample of one event. The truth is, we don't really know. While the catalog of potentially hazardous objects continues to grow, many still remain undetected, waiting to catch us by surprise. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. 
These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.